the question is if a conventional clock with numbers 1 to 12 is cut into three pieces such that some of the numbers in each piece are arithmetic progression difference of 1 then there are three questions here a what is the sum of v1 numbers in the group where 5 is present b what is the product of all numbers in the group in which 12 is present what is the count of numbers in each piece? The options are 2, 2, 5, 5, 5, 5 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, 4, 2. So this is more a logical reasoning of question, logical reasoning question on breaking up clock. And arithmetic progression is also involved. Arithmetic progression is also involved. You will have to think about what happens in arithmetic progression, then break the clock. See, they are talking about a conventional clock. They are talking about a conventional clock, numbers 1 to 12. See, a clock will always be like this. A clock will be like this. Here it will be 12. So this is 6, 3, 9, 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, and 11. Now, this clock is to be cut into three pieces in such a way that they are uh, in arithmetic version, some of the piece, three pieces such that the sum are in arithmetic progression, the difference of 1. So here what is missing that the sum of the numbers in each piece are arithmetic progression, the difference of 1. So, uh, see the sum of arithmetic, there are only 3 numbers here. There are only 3 numbers here because it is getting being cut into 3 pieces. There are only 3 numbers, the difference of 1 and they are talking about the it is arithmetic progression. See whenever it is an arithmetic progression, if the number of numbers are odd, Center number is always the average number. When there is an arithmetic progression, if the number of numbers are odd, center number is always the average number. Now let us think of the numbers that could be there in the arithmetic progression. You can think of the number that could be there in the arithmetic progression. See, when this clock is got, it can only be the sum of this 12 number. The sum of the arithmetic progression can only be the sum of this 12 numbers. It can only be the sum of this 12 numbers. See, sum of n numbers. The formula is n into n plus 1 by 2. n into n plus 1 by 2. Sum of n numbers. Formula is n into n plus 1 by 2. So sum of 12 numbers will be 12 into 13 by 2 will be equal to 78. So the sum of these 12 numbers will be 78. Similarly, sum of the arithmetic progression can only be 78. Sum of the arithmetic progression can only be 78. I already told you that any arithmetic progression, number of numbers are odd. Center number is always the average number. Center number is always the average number. So divide 78 by 3. Divide 78 by 3. This will be equal to 26. 78 by 3 will be equal to 26. This is the center number. This is the center number. And then 1 above. This is the center number. 1 above, 1 below. 1 above, 1 below. So the above number will be 27 and below number will be 27. So these are the three numbers of the arithmetic progression. These are the three numbers of the arithmetic progression. So I to cut this clock in such a way that one piece the sum is 26, the other piece the sum is 27, and the third piece the sum is 25. So I try to check here. So 10 plus 11 plus 12 will be 33. So these three numbers can't be in one piece. These three numbers can't be one piece. Then I check here 11 plus 10 plus 9 will be 30. Again, these three pieces can't be one piece because I don't get a sum which is more than 27. Therefore, these three pieces also will not be together. Then I go here, 11 plus 12 is 23, plus 1 is 24, plus 2 is 26. So it could be cut like this. I don't get option always like this. It could be cut like this. I am able to get 26 here. Then this is gone. 26 is gone. Then I check for 27 and 25. Then 27 is 10 plus 9 plus 8 is 27. 10 plus 9 plus 8 is 27. The remaining will be 25. The remaining will be 25. So the clock has to be cut like this. It will the, the sum of the numbers here are arithmetic progress difference of 1. Now the question for the answer, the answers for this question becomes very easy. What is the sum of the even numbers in which 5 is present? So 5 is present here. Sum of even numbers will be 6 plus 4. The answer is 10. So B of the A option is 10. B is, see what will happen is, what is the product of all the numbers in the group in which 12 is present? So here what will happen is, 12 is present here. 
the product is being asked so it will be 11 into 12 into 1 into 2 11 into 12 into 1 into 2 will be 264 will be 264 and see the count of numbers in each piece so this is three piece three numbers here four numbers here five numbers here the answer is three four and five the answer is three four and five so this is more of a logical listening question arithmetic progression rule is to be applied sum of n numbers is to be applied so once you get idea then this becomes very easy subscribe to my channel I will be adding questions every now and then. I will be adding questions every now and then. You can also subscribe to my website and take online aptitude test and practice them. Wish you all the best.